Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. I'm smiling so much because I'm so excited to show you this fabulous house behind me. We are here to tour Aldington House in Eckington. Right, so and that's near Gloucester, near Cheltenham, that area by the Cotswolds. So now that I've told you a little bit about the house, its name, let's talk about the specifications. So the specification, it's a five bedroom house. There's a powder room slash WC on the ground floor and there's three bathrooms on the first floor in addition to that its approximate size is 2700 square feet and it's currently on the market at the time of filming this tour at approximately 950 thousand pounds so let's show you a little bit more stay tuned and we'll tour the whole thing together all right so let's go straight into the tour first thing you're going to notice is this fantastic countryside uh, metal rail post and rail fence it goes all the way around your front garden but then there's still a little bit of a buffer zone all the way around your property so that goes around that side and then to the right hand side you don't have that post and rail because it opens up to the rest of the development you've got this gorgeous garden and the grass is being kept alive throughout this british heat wave that we've got through the sprinklers which you can probably hear there's some ornamental planting and then you've got the two windows over there are actually going to be your garage your garage doors when they're done and they're automatic up and over garage doors we've got these two absolutely cute ornamental trees i like to call them lollipop trees but they're fabulous you've got this porch as well it's substantial a few people can stay here and shelter themselves if you're trying to fumble around in your handbag or in your in your pockets for the front door keys again you've got two lights down lighters uh, which are on sensors which are great so they're motion sensors so you're not going to be in the dark whilst you know you're trying to get into the house and and also before we go straight into the tour let's just show you the detail of the actual architecture so this is property vlogs we're going to talk about the architecture you've got these fabulous brick plinths either side let me just point out what i'm talking about these are brick plinths and they come out and they go all the way around the house and at the edges of the building of the house the home the property we've got these brick coin details which are the little pieces of brick that stick out a little bit you've got fabulous vertical um header courses above the actual window and they're arched and that's the that's the language of the property and before we go in actually let me just show you really quickly i love the fact that the actual porch the timber porch and these solid wooden posts either side are on these brick plinths the brick plinths continue all the way around the property and you're going to see numerous brick details around the house along with the stone sill so again the front door is solid wood like i said and this is how big it is how wide it is it's quite an entrance and yeah that's basically what's going on in the outside and let's go inside through this hardwood door we step into our fabulous hallway ah, let's close the door beautiful wow can we just admire how gorgeous this front door is okay so like i said it is a hardwood door which is very different it's not a composite door it's got your letterbox there two panels either side bringing in lots of natural light i like the little frosted paint um, inserts there which obviously create a sense of privacy and they kind of it kind of allows you to have the light whilst not compromising on your privacy as well so now that we're in here before i step into the the hallway in full let's talk about the flooring i absolutely love it when this is considered as part of the actual property we've got genuine coir matting inlaid into the floor level with the rest of the flooring and i just ha love how it flows there's no trip hazards no slip hazards it's being considered you don't have to worry about it just you know leave the rest up to spitfire to consider that so let's look at the first room which is going to be in here so looking into this first room over here we've got what could be a cloak room but it's actually where your fuse board is and guys before i mention if i wish there was a light there's actually a light already built into here so if you've watched any of our other videos you know that i always say this would normally be a request or an upgrade to have a light in your cloakroom not in this case it's actually built in here and this kind of boxed area here actually contains your manifold which is for your underfloor heating yes the entire ground floor has underfloor heating underneath these gorgeous ceramic tiles and these ceramic tiles are actually also large format tiles so they're not the little small ones that you have to kind of like um put loads of them they're huge size tiles 
So they're very, very um, elegant and they flow throughout the main open space. So looking at the hallway, I don't want to whiz too quick through this tour. This hallway is very wide. You can definitely tell that my voice kind of bounces off a little bit, which shows you the size. Um, and also the ceiling height's taller than your standard 2.4 meters, which I absolutely love. You can admire the staircase, which takes you to the first floor. I'm going to point that out in a, well, when we move to the first floor. But again, they've got the Spitfire details, that wooden finish at the last two treads of the staircase, and then the carpeted treads, and then these gorgeous wooden newel posts, which are just kind of chunky very dramatic and bold. Again, looking at the details, you've got these stepped edge profiles to the architraves and they come down and then they join the skirtings, which are actually taller than your usual skirting boards. Usual, uh, your typical modern skirting boards tend to be that height and they've bumped it up an extra, uh, you know, a couple of inches there. And that kind of level and that um, level of detail is what would definitely improve the sense of quality and also make this feel like a luxury home which is what it is the next door i'm going to show you over here is the toilet so downstairs powder room so they're just waiting for you to get into position and then i will open the door so in the downstairs powder room it's a two-piece suite we've got the toilet there and the sink there the toilet has a hidden cistern so none of that um unattractive toilet bits <laughs> they're hidden behind that wall there and then you've got rack ceramics has provided the white goods and sanitary wear to the whole property you've got half height tiling up there with a chrome edge strip and just in terms of proportions i think it's lovely they've taken the tiling all the way down and then only had skirting on the walls that have paint on them and i love that it's really accessible it there's no kind of change in material so again it flows really nicely off the hallway right let's move on so the first proper room i'm going to show you is this one over here this is your study slash office. It benefits from two windows, one facing the front of the property, one facing the side of the property. So it's dual aspect. In terms of sizes or proportions of this room, you can see that you can fit quite a bit of furniture here. It could definitely be like a spare bedroom if you were to have a sofa bed in here, or as they've shown it, it's a home office. It's a fabulous home office. So again, you know, it benefits from all the features that you've seen already. The fantastic skirting boards, the flooring, they've switched it up a little bit. Again, so we've gone now from that fabulous ceramic into like what appears to be uh, a wooden wood effect laminate as well, or a luxury vinyl tile. Again, guys, all the specification is gonna be in the description. If you've got any questions, that's the first place to check. Three pane windows facing the front, very large, bringing lots of light. Again, two panes there and both are opening. So again, I love this room, love the proportions. And let's keep moving on to the next space. So this space beckons me forward. This is your formal dining. But again, it's labeled as a formal dining room, but it can be whatever you want it to be. Maybe you want to swap it around and have that be in your formal dining and this be in your office. It's completely up to you. Um, but as a formal dining, it fits more than enough space for an eight seater you know you could definitely upsize this if you wanted it to you've got this pendant place bang in the middle centered lovely and isn't that just a fantastic pendant light they've gone with to stage this property again it gives you an idea of what you can achieve you've got dual aspect again in a similar arrangement except this time this window is lower down it's kind of more level with kind of hip height so it's quite good you could probably extend that make that into a window seat if you wanted and i just love if we can just admire the staging for a second, the bronze track and then these lovely powder blue curtains floor to ceiling on a ceiling track, that's very on trend. It kind of gives you that luxury hotel feel and I love that as part of the show home. And you know, this is gorgeous. It's just been done really, really tastefully. And yeah, that's the formal dining room. So let's go on to the next room. The next room on this floor is gonna be this room. Now, wow in terms of living areas formal lounges should i say again we've got another dual aspect room and that's one of the fantastic features of this house type is that there's lots of areas to get lots of natural light we've got another window over there facing the side of the property which would overlook your garages as well over there and then towards this end, we've got that fabulous floor to ceiling um, curtain tracks as well. And then we've got double doors 
with a garden, two opening lights either side so you don't have to open the doors if you need just a little bit of fresh air or a breeze. But again, there's almost like step-free access between the inside of this carpeted room into the outside of this gorgeous paving paving slabs in your in your paved patio area in the garden in terms of the garden we will try and get you more clips but for now you can see a little sneak peek it's quite an extensive size it goes the full width of the house and in terms of views out of the garden there's definitely a lot of attractive features to look at and yeah that's pretty much the lounge um oh actually if you watch outdoors you know i like to talk about the proportions I kind of feel like I didn't have much to say because this room takes pretty much all my boxes. We've got in front of me an oversized coffee table. Again, this is close to about two meters long by one meter wide. It's huge. An oversized coffee table, a gorgeous, gorgeous fire here as well, a, you know, a wood burner and it's working as well it's not decorative and then you've got this the really lovely rustic details um you've got that hearth as well just there and just the contemporary detail and the way they've done that with the skirting is fantastic we've got huge sofa there four seater a huge three seater there and there's still ample space to move around should you need to so proportion wise this room is very very nice and i just wanted to mention the light switches and the sockets are actually uh nickel black nickel effect as well which is kind of usually a massive upgrade i mean if if you even have that option in most developments but this is part of this house and it's already considered so again i kind of <laughs> i want to do an introduction to the space but you probably already see it so come on get then you know let's go straight into our fabulous open plan dining kitchen and little snug living area at the end i say little but it's quite big let's start with this space dining area could be a breakfast bar you could pull up some um stools some bar stools up to here and have this be a breakfast area and then have this at the moment as a six seater is it a six seater yes it is can you put an eight seater yes can you put a 10 seater yes i can walk all the way around here and there's ample space there's a window at the dining area so it's not dark here at all obviously we've got the spotlights above it and yeah in terms of the zoning of the space there's an additional zone here and it's completely up to you if you want to have a living here living snug here or over there which we'll see in a second but yeah it's a versatile home again underfloor heating throughout this entire space considering it's got ceramic tiles in the winter it's going to be so nice and warm and you're not going to have to worry about that now let's talk about the kitchen yeah um do you want to see how big the kitchen is let me show you so this is I'm still walking. I'm going to show you how big this open plan space is. So from corner to corner, I don't know if you can see me over there. Right, so this is a very, very big space. Big, yes, big, huge, mongers. I, you know. Um, so yeah, this is how big the space is. I'm now in the snug, which we'll show you in a second. But again, let me just walk back up to here so you can see how spacious the kitchen is. So it's in a U-shaped formation. It is extremely spacious, guys. Wow, it is mind-blowing um so where do i begin let's start in true property vlog style let's work in a methodical way we've got this really really conveniently placed um socket bank of sockets so that's fantastic isn't it and it's so contemporary very sleek push it down and that's it good you've got this absolutely gorgeous quartz worktop here and this kind of it's kind of like a marble appearance i love it again it pairs really nicely with the navy navy blue kind of modern shaker style cabinets in a very it's a matte sheet i think it's a matte effect it's not quite satin but it's not a flat color by any means you've got these antique brass handles as well and i like that it's kind of traditional meets modern but again you know the brightness contrasts beautifully with the darkness of the the cabinets and again we've got very tall taller than your standard height kitchen cabinets normally you'd have two shelves here you have three so instead of putting your baking trays pots and pans above the kitchen not saying any of you do that <laughs> but if you did have a habit of doing that you don't have to do that it can all be tucked away these are all on soft closes so this is a very quiet kitchen you know at this area we've got the grooves of fab like 
cut into the worktop so again we have less visual clutter it's all seamlessly done and then we've got the upstand in that same material and then I love this Spitfire detail the sill is in the same material so less wood by the water area by your work area means it's going to be more durable longer lasting less cleaning less maintenance and again guys I just love this view from the sink and if you know anything about property vlogs and what I the things I love is I, I love obviously attention to detail but I love a window in front of the sink whilst you're doing the washing up you've got fabulous views of the countryside you know right in front of you you can see what's happening and just stay connected with the outdoors so yeah you've got opening windows there and then you've got these uh, recessed LED lights underneath the cabinets as well I love that and then your bank of switches there for the appliances the dishwasher again the black nickel um face plates to all the light switches over there and then the, the the kitchen continues all the way around with over here you have your nef appliances as well so your nef hob is there with five points for the hob as well and then extract fan a very sleek look as well nef as well very very nice and then storage above there i was going to open that but i will show you that in a second um so that's this part of the kitchen there's still more kitchen which i'll show you in a second but let's go through the storage because i'm sure you're probably curious what it looks like on the inside so again they've gone with the same color on the inside and then they've paired it with a dark gray carcass on the inside now i want to point that out that's not a standard fi finish by any means it is much cheaper to just go with white they've not done that they've committed to the color scheme the theme they've paired that with a dark gray so it's very subtle and it works beautifully so storage soft closers there you go that's cool that's your dishwasher by zanussi fantastic great location you know dishes straight away storage under there and more storage bin caddy again next to the kitchen sink all logical makes it very easy for you to access everything cutlery drawer underneath the hob walks you know stir fries easily done more storage down here as well and not a single clank guys not a single clank can i just show you really quickly above again storage all the way and that's the way it is for those cabinets above now let's show you the bonus kitchen so we've obviously got our integrated appliances here you're probably wondering where the oven was going to go well it's over here so the hot elements are over here with your fridge on one side and storage on the other side so the fridge is and the freezer let me just open that brand new so fridge freezer arrangement storage 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 and storage right that's the kitchen i think that has to be one of the most spacious kitchens i've seen there's also another bank of sockets uh, an adapter there for you to plug in your ipad your mobile phone devices and then another switch there and then i mentioned you could flip the kitchen completely they've already considered a breakfast bar and they've already considered having a waterfall edge detail here i love that the stools the bar stools go nicely under there and so this is where kind of the official breakfast area is but like I said it's completely up to you you can flip them around if you want to but this is where it's been designated and this then leads onto this gorgeous living area this open plan you've got a vertical window over there um, bringing in lots of light again a lot of opportunity to touch base with nature bringing in lots of light and then wow the ceiling is vaulted vaulted ceiling with feature uh, spotlights either side you know if you wanted to maybe you could put a pendant right in the middle if you wanted to be extra glam you could put a pendant dropping down really really brings this whole space together and then you've got window here with an opening light there and then another window here with another opening light i say opening light because essentially it's all great having windows but what if it's hot what if you want to open and get some fresh air you can easily do that without having to get out the keys and pull open these fabulous bifolding doors aluminium frame bifolding doors might i add white on the outside and the inside so again it works with the theme and then the threshold between these ceramic tiles and the outside tiles is barely barely it's so minimal um which is great for moving food between barbecue inside and outside etc like i said if you wanted this could be your dining to spill into that space 
just, you know, it's staged to kind of give you an idea, but also it just shows you how versatile the arrangement is. Now, just in case you thought that was it, no, there's more. Let's go into the space. This is your utility, utility not utility, utility slash laundry room. We've got another stainless steel, stainless steel sink and then we've got spaces for appliances one there one there ample space for a bin laundry basket whatever you want storage under there and then obviously storage under the sink and then your boiler here is valent uh, boiler eco fix sustain bit boiler as well few switches so you can isolate everything you've got your laminate work top here as well in a marble effect and it's the same quality of finishes and detail Leading off the utility, we've got a glazed door, which basically means it's like another opportunity. There's another window, isn't it? Looking over your garden, so another view. So bringing in lots of light, and then also you can bring in things from the garden. The washing can go to dry. All that stuff is there. So with this being the ground floor, let's head back to the hallway. Follow me. Now I'm gonna show you the garden space. So through this gate, you're gonna notice a couple of doors from your garages. Yes, let's just close that door off there. And now we're in the garden. So the access is along this paved walkway. You can see the lawn is in fantastic condition. Um, effort has been made to make sure this lawn survived the recent heat wave we just had. And you can just see in terms of proportions, this is the garden. And you know, I don't know about you, but I'm a massive fan of non-square gardens. This has lots of angles for you to definitely implement your landscaping. But again, with this particular show home actually being on offer as well, you know, the way everything's being designed is gonna stay. So apart from the furnishings and the, the, the loose items, you've got the paving here, and then you've got this path that takes you to the back. So let's go to the back as well. You're gonna notice your aluminium bifolding doors there. And this paved pathway done in a contemporary way and then you've got the framing of the fencing over there in that kind of gray and then you can see your windows to your open plan living area from the back over there and you know this is where you could entertain you know you would entertain in a house like this and then you can see the rest of the lawn over there and your garage which has a really really lovely roof roof shape to it as well and a trellis already there. It's just re really move-in ready, isn't it? This is a stress-free home for someone who just wants to come in and have the luxury fittings, everything thought through. We've got lights as well either side and they're on PIR sensors, so they'll come on at nighttime or if there's motion. And then obviously you've got tap here and then electrical sockets, two of them here. So barbecue stations over here, right by the kitchen and utility. This is just a fantastically proportioned garden. So yeah. That's the garden space, guys. And I want to finish off by just telling you a little bit about the ironmongery. Some people really, really like this. Let's just take a look really quickly at the ironmongery over here. We've got chrome handles there, beautiful chrome handles. And then the doors are gray painted in a very warm gray. Um, and this is the kind of the, the quality you're going to see throughout the house. Yeah. And let's go to the upstairs. Again, the level of workmanship that's gone into this staircase is just incredible. And now that we're on the first floor landing, I wanna just mention really quickly, we've now switched to central heating. Downstairs was under floor heating and now we're in central heating. So let's go to the first room, which is gonna be this one on my right. This room is currently staged as a twin, you know, for maybe, a, or a guest bedroom. But as you can see, the proportions are pretty sweet. Whenever you can fit a twin bed, a set of twin beds and space between bedsides, furniture, circulation, you know for a fact you can definitely fit in like a super king or a king size bed. Here we've got a view facing the front of the development, but it's actually your official side view. So that was a fantastic view. And now you can see, as you back away, just the size of this room. I absolutely love this room. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the quality of light or the proportions. It's just because when you see so much furniture in a bedroom, it's quite unusual. Most houses are actually staged very minimally. You know, the bare minimum, so that we can just kind of make it feel like it's bigger. Not in this case. You can definitely imagine that two people could be in this room. So this could definitely be a fantastic, 
guest suite bedroom so you've got your headboards oversized headboards there and you can move that in the middle and have a super king bed like i said earlier wardrobe could go here because obviously your bed's going to be over there and then you've got a space and then wardrobe or here a dedicated wardrobe space behind the door and i love it wall to wall fitted with wardrobes it's been considered for you alternatively home area a kind of a desk uh whatever you want it to be an office zone a makeup get ready area it's just all there but yeah that's room number one guys so let's go to room number two room number two is this one over here absolutely fantastic room number two so we're still loading we're still getting ready again i love the staging it's really fantastic but let's look at what you're actually getting for your money what you're getting for your money is a fantastic proportion fantastically proportioned room with a huge uh, three pane window over there two of them open letting in lots of light and then another double pane window over here with a higher sill so it's more private again this faces the the side of the development or the front the front of the development but the side of your home and then that faces the front of your home your official entrance and you've got dual aspect you've already got a tv mount there on the wall so no loose cables it's gonna look top spec hotel quality luxurious it's all being considered for you. You've got sliding wardrobes here. You probably didn't notice them on the way in. Why? Because they don't eat into the space at all. And then at the foot of your bed, you've got at least almost two and a half meters at the foot of your large bed. And this bed looks like it's definitely a super king bed. It is not a small bed in the slightest. I like to give scale. So again, maybe if I walk over here, you can see what you're getting lovely i absolutely love this now if you thought that was it no there's actually a bonus ensuite to this room so with this ensuite again we've got a window again every thought has been considered into actually how functional the space is who wants a shower that you don't have a window to well you've got a window there letting in lots of fresh air and then chrome um I was going to say chrome handrail, no, chrome radiator there, towel rail, and then a large wall-to-wall -wall shower with a shower tray at the bottom, thermostatic showers as well, sliding door, sliding glass door, and then the white goods by Rack Ceramics, ceramics half the way up as you can see, and then a large focal mirror there with a shaver socket. So again, shaver socket, hidden cistern, towel rail, shower, space, tiling, doors i'm hungry it's all in there same quality you will not find um you're not going to find a surprise in this house where you're going to say oh this is the the worst room or this is the compromise room it's not like that at all and as i say that let's go into room number three so room number three again look how big this bed is wow okay so we've got a double window facing the front of the property radiator underneath two sockets either side large headboard super king well, this is actually a king size bed, but again, super king can easily fit. You can have a dresser at the foot of the bed, TV there, or you could have wardrobe if you want in this corner. Now this room, the shape of it means you do have to think about where the wardrobe's gonna go, but you definitely know you can have the wardrobes opposite the bed if you want, or to the side that you're not seeing. And there's also a little nook here for more storage. So you could have a small wardrobe here or there and then move the bed over and not have it centered. Again, I love the pendant lighting to this room, um, which you would have seen in a, well, actually we'll show you that really quickly. Fabulous feature. Again, that's to show you the ceiling heights are fabulous here. Let's keep it moving. Again, my favorite, which is a mystery door. Mystery door is, this is what is keeping your showers absolutely fantastic and the central heating, it's a valent hot water cylinder. It's a store with a light inside as well. So the linen can go on the top shelf. And then, yeah, look at this guys. Let me just show you this. Wow, it's very, very beautiful. And you can just connect with downstairs. It's very open and all of this is dedicated to staircase. So it's not squashed and it's not hidden. So let's keep moving next room towards the front of the house is this one again wow okay i almost feel like every room in here could have two beds in it the way I, this feels right now in terms of space so obviously you've seen we've just walked into this bedroom right we're not even yet at the actual bed the bed itself is a king size bed so 
remove everything you've thought about houses being staged with doubles these are king size beds with large bedside tables either side um, you've got a window facing the other side of the property here you can see your garages there as well in your driveway and then windows facing the front of the property three paned windows letting in light so everybody living in this house in this home is going to feel like the rooms are all special in some way or the other and right now in this area let me just show you really quickly this zone here is actually a working area but you can have wardrobes or they've actually showed the tv mounts there so the tv would be there and then the wardrobe would go from here all the way to here so it's up to you you can have under bed storage like most people do or have ample space like we have in this room for storage options um wardrobe options and then the next room is this one over here this is our fabulous family bathroom absolutely fabulous i love the moodiness of this space and the moodiness is created by the spotlights they've gone with yes you could obviously have really bright led ones but these ones are very very uh, zen it's got a spa feel so okay what do we have here we have the spitfire kind of signature absolutely love their signature medicine cabinets so well made and so sturdy joinery like this can cost thousands of pounds and this comes as standard in every ensuite in this property shave a socket recess down lighter underneath and then that beautiful chrome edging strip underneath we've got the ceramic tiles all the way throughout beautiful floating sink by rack uh, ceramics and then the toilet as well so you can easily clean underneath it very functional then we've got a bath which has been enclosed here and there's a bit of a shelf there made out of where the window is so yes there is a window actually uh, bringing in light as well at the head of the shower at the front of the bathtub sorry the shower is actually over here a dedicated separate shower fully enclosed with a um, kind of a uh, retracting door as well and then a shelf already there fantastic and a thermostatic shower with a handheld device now let's look at the final and what is the primary room wow okay we've made it we've arrived at the feature room of this house so i mean this is enormous this bed is definitely a super king size bed two bedside tables almost wall-to-wall -wall headboard here and then again i love it when you don't even notice the wardrobes because they don't eat into the space like i said before we've got fully fully um fitted wardrobes floor to ceiling carpeted underneath so it's not an afterthought it's fully integrated and then you've got the rest of the space left behind behind this door there's more room guys so this is an optional additional wardrobe space or makeup area or that could be where your tv could go it's completely up to you or your tv could go maybe where the artwork is if you're tv in bed type of people it's completely up to you now let's spin around and i'll show you a bit more so we've got the window in this space and it looks over the rear garden so you have fantastic zen garden views and you have a fantastic master um we have a fantastic primary bedroom that overlooks your garden space a large radiator as well and then the ensuite so let's go into the ensuite we have to walk into the ensuite because again it's quite a, a large ensuite this shower is huge huge guys wow this shower is really 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 big and then you've got recessed shower shelf there again these proportions are like you know when you go to have like the executive suite or the superior suite uh, the, in hotels these are the proportions we're looking at we've got the signature spitfire medicine cabinet again as you can see and the wood on the inside is that kind of dark chocolatey wood as well kind of with an ash effect you can shave a socket there of course charge our toothbrushes and then you've got the recessed lights you've got the hidden cistern completely hidden so it's very minimal and modern the floating sink like we saw in the other and then the bathtub the separate bathtub and the width of the bathtub is very substantial so you're not going to be like folding your legs fully tiled even though it is just a bathtub so it's tiled all the way to the top and then paired with this gorgeous dark green paint so i know that is decor but this is what you get with this particular show home and it's the level of quality you have in all the homes you've got a double pane window bringing in lots of fresh air lots of light and then a full height tower rail in here so yes i have just had a fantastic experience 
touring this property and I hope you have too. If you really enjoyed what you saw, let me go over here. If you really enjoyed what you saw and you want to see more of these type of videos, we have done numerous Spitfire Homes tours as well. And with this being kind of the most recent, the most modern one that I've seen so far. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching so far. If you saw anything that we missed, leave it in the comments. There'll be a couple of videos that'll pop up. Our favorite Spitfire Homes will probably select one there, maybe another video here. But yeah, subscribe so we see you in the next video. And yeah, take care. Bye.